Hi everyone. Last night was Thursday night, January 6th, and we used the awesome otters um, to make cards with this little guy and this little guy. This is out of the Celebration brochure, uh, in effect January 4th to February 28th. But I I had said I didn't get to use this guy and it's birthday time and I, I'd like to try and use most of the stamps in a set when I get them. That's my new kind of thing I want to do anyway. So I decided to make a birthday card and I'm going to use this paper from Sunshine and Rainbows which is also in the celebration brochure. This is free with a $50 purchase, and so is this paper free with a $50 purchase. And it's got lots of pretty rainbows, which goes with the rainbow stamp set in the mini. But also, it's got um, some polka dot and stripe paper in it, and there's another stripe, a finer one too. But I decided to use this paper, and I only used one sheet per card. And as you can see, I have some bits left over in here. So what I did is I cut this, let me see which way the stripe, I cut this so the stripe is sideways on the back to four inches and then I cut it down and I'll give you those measurements in a minute. So the big strip I have left is from cutting that, sorry, is from cutting it like this. I just cut it to four inches and then um, these have the stripe going um, sideways of course and then after I did that, I cut this down and um, it ended up in two pieces and I used the stripe on one part and the polka dots on the other part for the card. And I think I had just a tad, maybe, I think that's about an inch left when I cut it down into the strips too. All right, so let me move this out of the way and show you the card we're going to make. This is it. Isn't it adorable? So I'm using Bermuda Bay. Now you could also take some paper. You'd have to cut another piece. And I didn't want to do that um, at the moment. So um, let me give you measurements here. This is a um, easel card. It's in Bermuda Bay. And the initial cut is four and a quarter by 11. Scored at five and a half, going from left to right, five and a half. And then if you keep it on a scoreboard, eight and a quarter. But what I do is I use my trimmer, so I scored it five and a half, then I flip it around and I score it at two and three quarter, which is half of the five and a, and a half. Okay, and then this piece is four inches wide by two and a half high. This piece here, which is the same piece of paper just on the other side, is also four inches wide by two and a half, okay? And then I do have a piece of basic white inside, which you could stamp on if you want to. That is four inches wide by two and three quarter inches high to get to your five and a quarter, right? Now this piece on this card, I used Mango Melody because that's one of the colors in here. And you could use Magenta Madness. Um, you could use, looks like maybe Granny Apple Green, Knight of Navy, whatever colors are in the paper you can use. But I like the bright mango melody and I don't use it that often. So that is three inches by four inches high. And the white that I stamped on is, is um, two and three quarter inches wide by three and three quarter inches high. And then the only other measurement is I have a strip of cardstock three quarter inches by three inches. And then the white piece is half inch this way by two and three quarter inches. So let's do our stamping. Now on the card we're gonna make, I had a scrap left over and it was a little thinner. So that piece is gonna be just a little bit, it's the same height, but it's gonna be a little bit thinner. And so I cut this down by a quarter inch also from what I just gave you, but I kinda like the wider measurement, but it's up to you, preference. Um, okay. So that's the measurements. Now on the Mango Melody piece, um, I did run it through this dots embossing folder. You can see it makes dots and I thought that went well with the polka dots. It just added a little texture to the back there. So let's bring in our card. Well, actually let's stamp. So that's that. 
that's in the um, annual catalog on page 154 and the item number is 155432 it's called checks and dots there's actually two small regular embossing folders these will go through the mini or the regular machine Hold that upside down so you have a checks that looks like this and you have a dots I don't think I've used the checks ones yet I've used the dots a couple times all right I'm gonna stamp in memento tuxedo black our little otter okay I'm just gonna put him sort of centered because he's the star of the show you can make this piece bigger or smaller however you want to do it you could also stamp some extra party hats around now on this one I got it perfectly lined up I'm hoping I can do that again I hope I hope I'd hope because I'm not real good about that kind of thing so let's see how we do the problem is the line on the hat you know is up a little bit from the bottom and I can't really tell exactly where I think I moved it I did all right let's try that over again um, sorry about that all right and the hat again I put it down I overcompensated it's a little off but it's better than the first one <laughs> it's okay his hat's falling off it's okay and then while I'm stamping I put the memento away I stamped in Bermuda Bay on a little strip and I have pre-cut these to the half inch by two and three quarter and I think my Bermuda Bay is another ink pad that needs some more ink I have a tendency to um, go upwards so I'm compensating by lowering the end hopefully enough but I got it I got a mark now I know my upline would cut that rubber off um, because there's extra rubber up here and you can do that you can cut it I don't usually do that um, but I should check and if you have ink up here wipe it off before you stamp all right so compensating again not bad we'll go with it we'll go with it didn't even have to wait for third times for the shot right and now we just have to color this and also um i went ahead and pre colored and i used um, little hats the other little hats for inside the card and fussy cut them and I colored those with these mar uh, Stampin' Right markers in Magenta Madness, Pool Party, Bermuda Bay, and Mango Melody. And on the white, I used our Stampin' Chalk marker on the little fluffy top. You could make that shiny if you want. Or if, if you still have from a couple years ago, we had little pom-poms, you could actually... Um, bring them out and pop one on there or a little piece of cotton or something and make it actually even more and I see I have a little mark there I will cover that up with a sequin we're going to use sequins this time on this one I actually used I had three pale papaya 2021 to 2023 in color jewels left this color here and I thought it went with the mango melody fine I just added some out of this pack to add a few more but we're going to actually this time use the artistry blooms adhesive back sequins which um, they actually have a mango melody one they're in the annual catalog on page 143 i'm not sure what i'm sure these are close to that as well in the annual catalog okay so let's color the rest of it all right so we're going to use mango melody first and I'm using the brush end of these now I know you're probably not supposed to mix um, your colors you know your inks like these are ink based markers with your blends however uh, because I'm doing 
the hat in the blends, I'm sorry, in the Stampin' Right markers and the Otter in the blends, except for his little ear right here. I'm just going to go like that. <laughs> um, I think it's okay. He's jumping around. His hat's falling off. Silly Otter. Stay still. Who wants to stay still on your birthday, right? You want to dance. <laughs> or move around. I should have moved around a little more on my birthday recently. But I didn't. And now it is really cold out. Like in the in the teens to low 30s right now in Fahrenheit. Um, Alright, now we're going to use um, Smoky Slate Light and Dark. And I'll do the dark first. And I am going to use the brush tip on this also. I used um, crumb cake last night for the live otters. Uh, the live otters. <laughs> the live stream where I did the otters. You can use whatever color you like. I just thought the Smoky Slate went a little better with the colors in this card than the Crumb Cake. I don't know. And I really, I thought otters were more gray. Maybe gray granite would have been good because that's like a brown gray. I don't know. I never think to use that color even though I do have it in blends. So like I said, you use whatever color you like. If you want to make a purple otter or something or a pink one, you go right ahead. <laughs> I just can't bring myself to do that. I'm too much of a, a realist, I guess is the right word for me. And his nose we're going to do in light basic black. And then I don't think I put shiny stuff on the other one, but um, you can. You can put shiny stuff all over the otter if you want to make it look like he's wet. But oh, this one's out of the water for now. And sometimes, actually, and I didn't do it on the other one either, where the white of his eye is, I might use the white chalk marker and just make it even a little brighter white. All right. So easy coloring. I'm not really blending real well or anything. I got a little line inside there, but it's okay because I'm going to color that with this one. Now, I did on this one, I took the ink, the color lifter, and just went over the inner part of his belly. Um, I don't know if I'll do that again or not. Maybe not. We'll see. I might just take this and the lighter color and go along here. Too. Nice wide brush strokes with the brush part. And then we'll go around the outside a little bit. Maybe that'll work. All right. Now let's get. Um, I haven't decided if I want to do the color lifter. We do have basic black, light, and dark. I'm just going to use the light and the nib and. and and do his little nose and that is it easy coloring let's see if i want to use i'm not going to do the color lifter because it seems lighter in the middle to me already now let's go ahead and glue that onto here um, if you use your tape runners i would use the seal plus for this because this is um, dotted i tend to use um, the wet glue that the uh, tombow all-purpose glue and I do go over it pretty well to make sure it sticks on these dots and then just put it in part way and if you want you can turn it over just be careful it doesn't slide on you All right and now let's go ahead and open our pack of embellishments maybe this is a new pack i have a few left in just the rich raspberry 
but I want the Mango Melody out. I've had these for a little while now and I haven't opened them, so I'm not very good at opening them. There we go. <laughs> and this one is the Mango Melody. All right. So we're going to put a nice big one, I think, and eh, maybe a little one, up, um, up at the top where that, if I can get it up, there we go, where this little boo-boo is. And we'll use a bigger one. I'm just going to pick them up, actually. And maybe over here. Another little one over here this time. And we might add more, so I'll leave them out. I need to put a replacement head on, on my thingamajobber. All right, let's bring in our card and get that ready. These are extra strips to stamp on. Actually, we're going to put this on here, and then we'll add dimensionals to that at, uh, when we're ready. Let's try and get it on here straight. Oops. All right. So bone folder. I would suggest putting doing a really nice um, piece, you know, burnish, burnish it really well with your bone folder in both parts. And I even turn it over sometimes to do the other side. Okay. And then this, let's do our inside here first. You can put the stripes however you want. You could even just leave it polka dots, but I like the variation. I'm going to put it this way. And I do the bottom one first. And then I put the white in. And line it up with the bottom. That looks pretty straight to me. All right, and then this piece goes on the inside and I'll have those measurements again for you. Uh, this is two and three quarter by four and I believe this is two and um, let's see is that two and three quarter by four also or two and a half? This is two and a half by four. Right. Yeah. The glue. Well, that one doesn't need to have as much glue as the the piece that went on the dots. Make sure I got it straight. I think so. It just gives you somewhere to write your, your sentiment, right? Now we need our dimensionals and let's figure this out. I think I want it here. Yeah, over this line so it's crossing over two colors. And put three on, three or four. It has to be sturdy because it's what's going to hold your easel up. Let's see, yeah, we'll do four. All right. So this is a really easy project, but it's very cute. And then we'll put our paper. Now this paper has sort of a white border. It was on there the first time too. And I put that down towards the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and glue that on. I don't know why. That's just preference. It just looked better to me than at the top. And then we'll go ahead and glue this. Now you have to be careful when you glue this on. And I, I lined it up with the bottom of the DSP rather than the bottom of the card. Um, only glue half. So right about here. You, because you don't want to put glue on the part that's going to be showing in the back, right? Center them pretty good. 
Now, if you had it the wider piece, I don't know if you can see that on here, it actually lines up exactly with this paper where this one is going to be a little thinner than that. And um, I do not have any sticking glue sticking out the back. And then the last thing is we have two little hats. Um, we can put one on here and one down here and another sequin there. And originally I was going to bump these up, but I decided not to because I thought the little poofy thing would get caught on things. And here we, you could use a glue knot for these also. That would be just fine. I'm going to take a little of that glue off. I'm trying to make sure that puffy hat uh, doesn't stick out too far actually. And that glue I just put on my finger. I'm going to put some on this little hat. <laughs> Oops. There. And we'll put that down over here to add a little extra color. And then another sequin. I'm just going to pull it up with my fingers. Maybe. And put it right here. And then one more since I have four now. I don't like odd numbers. So we'll use another big one up here. Somewhere. I think right here. There we go. So these, like I said, are the artist artistry blooms, adhesive back sequins. The colors are Calypso Coral, Mango Melody, Coastal Cabana, and Rich Raspberry. And they're really nice um, adhesive back sequins. There we go. All right, that is our card using the awesome otters from Celebration and the rainbow. Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Series Paper. It's 6x6, six six, also from Celebration. And uh, our little uh, Bermuda Bay and our little otter on Bermuda Bay and Mango Melody for a nice, bright, happy birthday card that doesn't take long to make. Thank you so much for joining me and watching. Um, if you do not have a demonstrator and you're in the United States, I would love to be yours here and also if you order less than $150 um, through me in the month of January please use this host code EUNYCVZY but remember for every $50 or $100 there are free items in the celebration brochure and if you don't have one or a mini catalog and you'd like one um, and you don't have a demonstrator already email me. My email is in the description towards the bottom down below and I'll be happy to send you one. I have a few extras. Um, but the celebration brochure is online. You can just uh, at the very top of the ordering screen. I think if you go into items, there's categories by catalog and you can click on those. Okay. And that's, um, if you order $50 or $100, that can be items out of the January to June mini catalog, also the annual catalog, and also the online clearance rack. All those added together give you the, um, the amount you need for the free items. All right, everyone, have a great day, and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye for now.